Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, American Boy Collects American Girl. So this is going to end up being part two of my patriotic um, display. Um, so yeah, I came to find out that I forgot about Be Forever Addie's outfit because I only have the original uh, Pleasant Company meat stockings and uh, boots and was it pantaloons. Um, but then I just come to find out when I got the Be Forever outfit out, she has white socks to go with her boots instead of um, instead of the um, stockings. I did have a pair of underwear though for her, um, so I can have that. Um, and then this is the blue dress. I will say this: I know there's a lot of flack about the Be Forever outfits. Um, I think my two top. This one was my top favorite from the beginning. I never have any had any dislikes for Addies. Um, I still like the iconic pink, but maybe it's because it was pink. I don't know. I know it's a nice shade of pink, though. Um, but I love this one. The only thing negative I have about this one is that in some lightings, because it's a darker blue versus the brighter pink, she does look a little washed out, especially if she's, like, in a corner where it's maybe shadowy and not, like, under a light. So you definitely want to have a light source if you take pictures of her. Um, but this was one I always loved. And, like, when they first did the Be Forever rebrand, you had the option to either buy the classic meat outfit boxed or you well no, it was actually in a bag um or you could get a boxed version of the new meat outfits i think it was because like if you already had the doll um you know you didn't have to buy the doll again to get the outfit but anyway so when i saw i think it went on sale too uh, i went i got the addies one because addies was my favorite from the top from the beginning um like some of them i i probably i would never want to own my least favorites are felicity and molly um I, I have new appreciation after I saw Chris Diddy takes over do a ranking of all the meat outfits. Because as I was thinking about, you know, okay, like some of them do have like mix and match potential if you pair it. Like maybe some of Molly's pieces might work if you had it with the other stuff and not how they had it paired together. I guess for me, on the one on Molly I don't like is the big chunky glasses. Because I, I, for the doll, I've always viewed Molly as the one with the white rim glasses. Again, maybe the chunkier glasses with the thicker frames was more accurate. I don't know. Um, but for me, the doll is always white frame. I can't undersee that after seeing it for my entire life. So, or at least since they came out, whether well, in '86. Um, but yeah, and the only other two I have for Be Forever right now in the outfits are Julie and Rebecca, and that's because they came in them when we bought the dolls last Easter. Um, I do like Rebecca's though. Um, I feel like the purple hat is a little overkill with all the purple and never having everything purple. Um, so I do kind of like the the beef or their classic accessories a little bit better um but yeah so i do like i definitely do and then, and one thing i do have about julie's um i do like her yellow sweater vest that piece by itself is really cool and i like the video clip they just did recently um with julie and ivy where they actually had ivy in her classic meat outfit but they actually put um julie's sweater vest over so i think that's actually a really cool combination so i might actually do that one if i ever get ivy so yeah i gotta keep an eye out for ivy um, yeah, so this is that. So I'm not using the dress or the socks, but I will. Uh, hopefully the boots will fit because I did find um, my original Addy had bigger feet than the Forever Addy has. Um, but I will use the stockings from Samantha. So I mean, under the dress, you're not gonna know it's the wrong era. <laughs> I mean, it does have like a little bit of like lace at the top. Um, but I figure, okay, it's black stockings with the boots, and this would be underneath her pantaloons. You're not going to see it at all, so we're just going to go with it. So I won't be using the, the Mary Jane, so I don't use the Mary Jane. Unless, well, again, unless the boots don't fit, I may have to resort back to the Mary Jane. We'll see. Anyway, um, you probably wonder, hey, normally I don't wear a tank top. This, I'm kind of out of frame a little bit on this. Because um, yesterday when I did the other video, I had a shirt under it. Where did I put it? I just got it out. Because I was like, I gotta remember this. And now I don't even see it. Okay, give me one second. So I don't know where I put it. I will be right back. I really feel like a dingbat right now. Now I know where I had it. Behind the tablet, that's why I couldn't see it. <laughs> as soon as I stood up after I paused, I was like, oh, there it is. Um, so yeah, um, they had this on clearance. Uh, I think it was a year end sale. That's Team USA. It was actually for the 2020 Olympics. Because the copyright is 2020. Um, that's Team USA American Girl. That's the doll size t-shirt. But they also come with a child size t-shirt. So I don't know if this is going to work. I decided I really wanted the t-shirt for the doll. 
because I had the Proud to be American Girl t-shirt. I really wanted the, a newer one specifically for the Olympics. And I was like, so I didn't, they only had it available in child size. They didn't, and it doesn't, they weren't selling it separately like this one you could buy. And same with the re, uh, relaunch of the Girl Today logo t-shirt um, that Nikki and Isabel had. You could get the adult, the child, or the doll sizes all separately, or you could do a bundle together. I'm not sure if it's just cheaper with it together or not, but anyway. So I thought, you know, why don't we just see, I'll just buy the largest size they have. Maybe it'll fit. Maybe it'll be a compression shirt. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so we're going to try this on. So that's why I didn't throw the other shirt over the tank top. So let me, uh, let's see. How do we open this first off? Just like, okay, just like, like tape together. All right, there's a, there is a, um, maybe I could just leave it together and I'll just take this off. So it looks like it has the star logo on the back for the back of the t-shirt for the doll. And it's just this plastic um, bag for the girls. And it looks pretty big from the way it's folded, but that may just be the way it's folded. Alright, so it's got the Team USA logo. That's very cool. I like that. The Olympic rings, 8 plus. American Girl, Team USA. And it specifically says on the tag too, girl and doll tees are not sold separately. <laughs> Anyhow, all right, this is probably, okay, that's definitely way too short. Okay, I can definitely tell that's very short. That's got like more a girl t-shirt. Yeah, this is definitely girl shirt sleeves. I don't know if you can see, yeah, see it's got the shorter, oh wait, in frame helps. It's definitely got it's definitely got girl sleeves. These are not typical t-shirt sleeves that are basic. Um, yeah, so let's see. Is that cotton or what is it? It definitely feels like cotton. Um, I wonder if there's a tag inside. Let's see. Any tags in the scene? Yep, there's one right here. There's sound of you. Oh, got a whole bunch of crap coming out. All right. Uh, let's see. Right, so it's 95% cotton and 5% spandex. So yeah, and oh, anyway, let me show at least the frame. Yeah, so it's got like the stars are gold and silver metallic, and this is a flat print, a basic or not flat, but non-metallic of Team USA American Girl. So yeah, let's see. How does this work? Alright. Let's see where the other end is. Oh, they did it. Okay, they did it underneath. <laughs> My bad. Alright, so let's... Well, let's just see. I mean, if you look at it when they stand out, I mean, it does look long. It definitely is long enough. I just know about those sleeves. The sleeves are definitely girl sleeves. Oh yeah, it's almost about the same length as my tank top. Alright, let's see. Not sure about the sleeves. Alright, let's I'll take the tag off and let's try it on. See what happens. Get right back. Okay, and we are back. Okay, so does it fit? <laughs> well, it's a good thing they have the stretch, that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, so it's kind of like the definitely the sleeves are definitely not right. They're definitely tight. They're definitely more a girl sleeve, not a guy. Um, but it's kind of more... I feel like it's kind of more like a compression shirt. <laughs> I don't know, what do you think? I mean, it, it, it's really actually comfy because it's, th it's a thicker cotton, so, I mean... I don't know. I guess I kind of like it. <laughs> Anywho, um, so yeah, uh, while I was paused and I tried it on, I actually decided to throw Addy's stuff on. So, I guess it really didn't matter if I had the black stockings or not, because her pantaloons actually come down to her boots anyway. So yeah, um, but the black, I did put Samantha's black stockings underneath it just to finish it off, what it would normally be. And then the pantaloons, so you can see it under the dress. And then I'm not very fond, I guess the only thing I could say, I'm not fond of the V Forever boots. I wish they had just done the boots like they had for Reg Reginald Addy. Um, so yeah, sorry, I'm not even on the camera. <laughs> oh, this is better than one of the videos I just did recently. I was showing something and it was like totally like over 
like over here somewhere it was like not even on camera i'm like oh great now i gotta put an apology in there uh yeah uh i do like the original boots they're black these are like a dark brown with a lighter brown on the bottom um so yeah that was i do kind of like it because i mean it's like it's like i feel like it's like tight right here so it almost makes it feel like it's more like um, accenting your muscles if you got if you've been working out. Um, but yeah, so let's just throw this in to finish off the outfit. Um, so yeah, a little. I guess you can't actually hold it. Huh. Oh wait, yes you can. There we go. I was actually surprised. There we go. She can hold her Emancipation Proclamation. I think I pronounced that right. Okay. Then while I was also paused, I dug out the other, the girls, or the dolls t-shirt. It's actually kind of fun. It's almost like cardboard, cardboard thing. And they have it like, um, with like a cardboard, um, hanger like inside it. It's kind of fun. Oh, uh, let's see if I can, I just got to take it off. Undo the Velcro to get it off of here. Um, let's see. Alright, so it's basically a smaller version. Although, I noticed on um, this, the doll's version, it looks like the whole thing is like shiny. It's not just the gold. So everything is shiny on that. I think it's like one, uh, like a hull, like an iron on transfer kind of thing. That's the vibe I'm kind of getting. Um, so yeah, let's see. Alright, so we're gonna just temporarily take the Proud to be American Girl. Oh, wait, no. I know what I was gonna do. I wasn't gonna do that. Alright. I did find an American flight that I forgot I got at Walmart. Uh, I have yet to figure out how to attach it because it's too... Well, maybe I can get it that way. Maybe not, no. It's a little bit too, um, wide to fit between her two fingers there. And I guess you could sort of hold it like that. I don't exactly how I'd rather her have it. Maybe I'd have to do like a clear tie or something. Anyway, but anyway, I had that. I was gonna do. Then I don't. I don't. I mean, I don't want to keep changing it on the one with the curly hair. Oh, you fell out, and I didn't even see it. Okay. Well, let's put you back. All right. Let me. I'm gonna take um, the pom poms off her cheerleader, and I, and her top is pretty. Um, I think enough that I could just throw the t-shirt over the top. I'll be right back. Okay. So here is Miss. Uh, Mercedes and I will just give a correction here now that I did misspeak and call her Malia which is the one with the curly hair in the Proud to be American Girl t-shirt so this is what it looks like on her oh, actually hand I guess I should do this what do you think we're twinning <laughs> yeah she definitely wears the sleeve the cap sleeves a little nicer actually I think I'm just I think the doll one actually has regular t-shirt sleeves I don't know anyway so that's, yeah, that's her. Actually looks kind of nice with the skirt. Um, but then I remembered when I was getting out the Be Forever um, Addie's outfit, I forgot I had a bunch of these t-shirts from the American Girl store. So uh, let's just do a, do a quick try on a few of these. Um, so I'll just showcase them while we're doing patriotic. I mean, it does have a little bit of patriotism going on in here. So you got, oh, that's weird. So they have the American Girl hanger like normal, but it actually has its own tag on there. I don't know why they didn't just put a sticker on the back. They have a sticker. No, um, they have a sticker, a scan bar on the back. Okay, I don't know why they did it. All right, well, I'm not gonna monkey around with taking that off at the moment. We'll just sort of <laughs> put it on. So I got this one is American Girl New York. This one. So let's just see what that looks like. We're just gonna do. She's gonna just model a few T-shirts for us right now. Maybe like three of them, four of them. I mean forward with this white one so yeah all right don't forget to let me know what you think of all these t-shirts as i am showing them as well which one's your favorite i do like this because this actually this actually goes really well with the hall um aesthetic of the controlling <laughs> outfit so even if you didn't i mean this i like has more red blue and white or red and blue in it whereas this is a lot of white but i mean she's just almost you would think thought this was actually supposed to go with it Anyway, let me go uh, change it and I'll show you the next one. Okay, here's the first of the American Girl store t-shirts. I got three of them, I believe. So this is American Girl in New York. Um, maybe the red kind of matches, I don't know. 
I definitely like the white better on her. <laughs> kind of makes pops out a little more. Anyway, that's the American Girl New York. I don't know what the other two are. Let's go see real quick. Uh, let's see, so this one. I can't figure out where they put them. And this actually is how the garment bags used to be for the, um, I want to say for the historical characters or whenever they had garment bag outfits. Okay, so this one's Washington, D.C. I can't, those were two I kind of wanted to get because I thought, okay, New York City or New York, it's supposed to be for New York City, but I live in New York, so I definitely wanted the one that said New York because it could be interchangeable. It could be either New York City or just New York State. It just says New York, so you don't know. All right, let me, um, yeah, I'll pause that, be right back. All right, so here she is in American Girl, Washington, D.C. I do have to say, these could use a little bit of a steaming <laughs> or some kind of ironing. I don't know. Probably can't do the shirt where the text is, but it needs a little bit of a cleaning up. All right, so that's what she looks like in that one. I don't remember what the final one was. Let's go see her real quick. So we got... Okay, so this one's also New York, but this one had an entirely different logo. So Washington, okay, actually I still have it out. <laughs> so here's the original. So Washington DC and this New York had the same logo, just changed out the name of where it was located. And then this New York actually has the same American Girl, no, actually no, it says American Girl Place on here. And it says New York and it has a bunch of stars underneath. Um, See, this is actually American Girl Place, where this is just, the other one just say American Girl. Alright, let me get that, be right back. Okay, so this one has like an entirely different cut to the t-shirt. It's like a little bit wider at the top for the neck. And, yeah, so that's, I don't know why they had it right where the Velcro goes for the tags. That was a little weird. Um, but yeah, so that's the other New York one. So there's three different American Girl store t-shirts and the white one for the 2020 Olympics. All right, let me clean this up, and I got one other little thing and get her back into her cheerleader top. And I have one other little thing for, um, so I did show, um, this little guy's been, her girl. Uh, Ginger has been showing up a little bit in a couple videos, um, but now I want to introduce you to Honey. I also have this little doggy, very cute, very cute face. His name is Honey. I forgot what kind of dog he is. Um, but yeah. Again, it's the hard body ones that just sit. Little um, tail. I did forget to mention um, the tails do actually move um, for the cats, at least anyway, because I know Licorice has the same kind of tail where it's like somehow it's bent bendable inside. So you can like position it either at the side or if you want the tail to be up or out or whatever. Um, but yeah, I have a little outfit that was something from Coconut's collection that I got that I've never used before But he had a little Lady Liberty costume, so I'm gonna do that But let me get this whole mess cleaned up around here first. So I have room to move with the dog I don't know if I'm putting on the dog or cat. Yeah, I wasn't sure if the Crown for the Lady Liberty was gonna fit on the cat or the dog I didn't know if it was gonna be too big or too small. So that's why I have both of them here We'll see which one ends up wearing it. All right, I'll be right back. Alright, so I got the girls back together. Um, yeah, I can't figure out how to do this. I actually had Molly's hand thing to hold the balloon. Um, but yeah, that wasn't the gap for... The stick was too wide to do that, so yeah. Alright, so we got Honey and Ginger. We'll see which one of these is going to fit this. Um, this is Coconut's... Oh, I forgot to tell you, on those um, American Girl Store t-shirts, one of them had the price tag of $8. Actually, this says it was $8 too, but I think these are on clearance. Um, and the one that said American Girl Place was from 2010. The ones that just said American Girl Store, or just American Girl, uh, were from 2011. So I didn't even realize they were that old. Um, I don't think this says a date on it. But yeah, so it has one little crown and one little, what do they call it, a bib? One scarf. Alright, so let's do this. Slide this out, I think. Okay, where's the opening? Oh, I see what they did. All right, all right. That's the 
cute. Uh huh. I put the sticker over the opening. All right, so it consists of the little crown, which is this little. It's like on um, the craft foam kind of line. Um, it's a little too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yep, uh, yeah, the dog, and I think coconut would have been, this, well, maybe coconut has a smaller head, I don't know. Anyway, the dog's head was a little too wide, so here it is. Oh my word, this looks so cute. So we're going to do it on ginger. All right, let's see. And it's also got this little bib, uh, or the scarf. Oh, okay, so it's actually a scarf that's real. Okay, oh, yeah, it says American Girl Place, New York. Okay, it must be this was a, like an exclusive for the New York City store because of it being a American girl. All right, so it actually is a scarf where you have to tie it in the back. They had the hat picture. All right, so it's gonna fold over. And then... Oh, what's weird is this is a point at the bottom, but doesn't this look rounded? Oops, I had it caught on the tape. Doesn't it look like it's rounded? Well, now my finger's in the way. <laughs> doesn't it look like it's rounded at the bottom? I mean, I don't know, that seems a little weird to me. Unless it's like folded under. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. So I'm just gonna take this and then tie it around you in the back. Oh yeah, okay, that's how it works. It's basically you're just gonna knot it off in the back. I think it's only available. I think you can only do like one knot. Yeah. So you just tie it off in the back like that. Let's fix your crown. Maybe it fits better on coconut. I don't know because the one thing I'm noticing is that um, these little tabs at the bottom are supposed to be hidden, but they're not exactly hidden. All right, so that's. <laughs> I'm not sure if I really like the concept of the scarf. Um, kind of looks like he's being gagged. <laughs> Maybe I didn't do it right. Maybe it should be down a little further. Um, maybe like that, I don't know. And the tabs seem a little, unless we're supposed to be tie it. No, the tabs are shown there, but there seem to be more hidden on the dog. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, I have it on him. <laughs> he does look cute. So I have Kitty Liberty. <laughs> Alright, anyways, that was everything I had, um, let's see, man, just so you can see Miss Liberty, I guess that doesn't do much of anything either, there we go, yep, now I'm blocking her face, let's see, get you over here so you're in the shot, alright, so yeah, that was my update for that, so I got Addie's outfit finished, I, um, tried on all the t-shirts, I tried this on, and I, it definitely is tight. I do like the fabric though. It's like it's got a really nice feel to it. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a there's definitely a um, like stretch in it. So I think that helps. But then at the same time, it does feel like a, a little bit of a compression shirt. It's not. I think it's beyond fitted. Um, but yeah, I mean it's not. I mean it's not tight. Tight. It does move with you. But yeah. Um, I know I'm five foot ten. No, I'm five foot eight. I'm five foot eight. And we're 10 kilo. Anyway, I'm 5'8". Um, I don't know if that helps any. I don't know what my weight is right now. But anyway, so yeah. That's my collection of patriotic um, display for this year. And in case you're wondering, this is actually a throw I got at work. I don't remember if I said that in the previous video. But yeah, it's like one of those fleece throws. But I thought it was so cool with the firework print all over it. So yeah, um, that's my... That's the rest of the video, so... Let me know what you thought, like and subscribe, thank you for your support, and I'll see you next time. Have a great night.